Hey party people, oh, welcome back. If you don't know, I'm a dietitian, and it's January 5th of 2022. I have yet to go to the grocery store since mm, a little bit around Christmas time in my fridge currently. We got some Zevia sodas, we got some cheese, we got some dips, and we got some old fruit. So I think it's time we go grocery shopping, and I decided, why not just take y'all along with me? I'm a super nosy person, y'all might be a little nosy too to see what's inside a grocery cart of a dietitian. So let's buckle up, and I gotta go shopping because I'm starving because I just finished work. All right, y'all, let's do the thing. forget two things. <laughs> I just went to Sprouts. I was gonna go to Publix after I went to Sprouts, but it turns out Sprouts had great deals. So I didn't have to do that. Let's see what I got at Sprouts. Be sure to watch till the end because I'm gonna give you three grocery store challenges, guidelines to follow for your next grocery store trip at the end of this video. Let's start with dairy because it's the smallest amount of things I got and we'll just be able to put that away real quick so it doesn't stay out for too long. So my number one thing, I've talked about this before, I just get it out of the way, I finally found the Kite Hill Plain Cream Cheese. The stores I've been looking at have been completely sold out of Kite Hill Plain Cream Cheese. Super pumped about this. The next thing I got is the Bitchin' Chipotle Pepper Sauce. If you guys have not tried this, you honestly must try this. I also have the French onion dip of the Bitchin' Sauce in my refrigerator. It's super delightful, but I'm telling y'all, the Chipotle Pepper Dippin' Sauce is so singing good. It's made of water, almonds, grapeseed oil, lemon juice, nutritional yeast, bread, liquid aminos, chipotles, sea salt. Cook it with your chickens, with your tofus, dip your vegetables in it, put it on top of cottage cheese, you know, whatever you want. I also got the Bolt House Farms Salsa Verde Avocado Dressing. I've had the avocado cilantro one before, I've had the Caesar one, and they were all pretty delightful. They're a salad dressing made from yogurt, and I have been really craving creamy salad dressings recently. Usually I go for really vinegar based and I make my own, but I've really been wanting a good creamy dressing. I'm super excited to try this one because it's very low in saturated fat, only 0.5 grams of saturated fat in each serving, and each serving's 45 calories. A lot of creamy dressings are like 180 to over 200 calories for two tablespoons. And then I got the Nut Pods Sweetened and Dairy Creamer. This is the cookie butter, and everybody is saying to try the cookie butter. It says it's sweetened, but there's no added sugar, so it has inulin in it, as well as stevia extract. So I'm amped to try this with my Nespresso coffee tomorrow. The last dairy thing I got is a bit of a controversy, and I got Greek yogurt, 0% milk fat. There is research that shows that full fat dairy can help your satiety, which could also lead to weight management. I like the taste of this. I like adding fat to this by using peanut butters and adding it to my sweet potatoes and baked potatoes and full meals. I don't necessarily need the whole fat. A theme you might see is that I'm kind of in the middle of like an animal-based diet and a plant-based diet. I really try to be more plant-focused, swapping things out when I can, which is why like with the creamer, I usually have a regular dairy creamer, yet I'm trying to see what other things in my day I can swap out for something plant-based that I still enjoy. I have a bone to pick with a large portion of the nutrition community on the internet. They are saying that you must buy only foods that are in the perimeter of the grocery store, AKA all of the perishable foods. I know what you're thinking. But Nicole, that's where all the healthy food is. That's where a lot of healthy food is. Sure, 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 sure. There are so many 
healthy food options in the aisles. And before you gasp, and before you turn this off, I'm telling you right now, we got beans, we got grains, we got delightful sauces to make cooking easier. We got canned vegetables that have low sodium and low oil. You're also going into the freezer section and you're buying frozen vegetables and frozen fruits that will last you so much longer so you don't waste food. Doesn't it sound better to save food than to buy food and then throw it out and then waste money on it? I think it does. I'm not saying just go in the aisle. I'm not saying just go in the perimeter. I'm saying like everything else, gray area, my friends, there's healthy things in the aisle. There's healthy things in the perimeter. And let me go through what I bought from the aisle. Freaking lip for beans. I know, it's weird. I love beans. When I do plant-based meals, I use so many beans and so much tofu. When you're buying beans, try to buy low sodium or no sodium beans. They help digestion, they help improve mood, they have a lot of vitamins and minerals in them, and they help increase satiety, meaning when you eat beans, you're gonna be full quicker and you're gonna be full longer, so you don't snack as much. When you're having a diet full of fiber, you're actually decreasing your risk of so many chronic diseases. So let's keep you out of the hospital, let's keep you healthy, eat your beans. Butter beans, I have not, I can't tell you the last time I had butter beans. And I got black beans because I have been meaning to make overstuffed sweet potatoes, putting some black beans, Greek yogurt, cheese on top of a baked sweet potato. Winner. I know. I also got two canned vegetables to add to my salad to add a little zing. And those are artichoke quarters and hearts of palm. I love hearts of palm favorite stinking thing to put in a salad. I'll put it in every salad if I can. I just always forget to buy this at the grocery store. And then when I remember, I'm so happy for myself. So we got that. Last two things is some diced tomatoes. I can make a chili out of these. I can make a pasta sauce out of these. I can make a sauce. I can add them to a soup. The last miscellaneous kind of thing I got in the aisle is the Earth Balanced Peanut Butter. Here's the deal. I have been trying to get me and Jared on the natural peanut butter kick because it's one ingredient, it's simple, it's good for you, lots of monounsaturated fats, no extra oils, sugars, ingredients, etc. But here's the deal. I don't like natural peanut butter. I've tried for many, many, many years. I cannot get on board. I freaking live for Jif. Yet, Jif has a lot of added sugar. So, this is such a great dupe for Jif with only one gram of added sugar, per serving. Freaking awesome. They also have some flaxseed in it for some extra omegas, which are great for your heart, great for your brain, great for your hormones. Remember, when you swap saturated fats for unsaturated fats, it actually decreases your risk for any heart disease, stroke, etc. And who doesn't love a good peanut butter? Woo. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna go over is grains. Rigatoni, I haven't tried this shape, and I got angel hair banza. I freaking love Angel Hill. The smallest, thinnest piece of pasta is my absolute favorite. I haven't tried the rigatoni of the Banza, so I'm pretty pumped to try it. And these were on sale. What a freaking win. Another thing that was on sale, which is my current obsession, and this is why I bought the Kite Hill Plain Cream Cheese. It is the Vans Protein Waffles. I put these bad boys into a, my air fryer for seven minutes at 370, and they toast it up. I put some cream cheese on it, Sometimes I put frozen raspberries on top, maybe a banana, maybe some cinnamon. Freaking delightful, super easy breakfast, super easy snack on the go. I put it in a paper towel and I go in my car and I drive to work. They also have them in blueberry. The blueberry is really good, but my absolute favorite is the original, but they only had one and it was two for $6. And so I had to get both. In two waffles, there's about like 10 or 11 grams of protein. So it's pretty good. And then if you want some extra protein, have some Greek yogurt on the side. The one thing I did forget to buy from the grocery store and that was brown rice and quinoa. I usually love buying the microwavable brown rice and quinoa or the frozen one that I can just stick in the microwave because here's the thing. I get home, I do YouTube, I wanna relax, talk to my boyfriend, I really don't like to cook. So on the weekdays, I really freaking live for the microwavable quinoa or brown rice. I'll probably get Jared to go run to the grocery store this week because I don't wanna go back. That's a lie, I do wanna go back, but if I go back, I know I'm gonna spend so much money because my toxic trait is that I spend too much money and buy things I don't need at the grocery store.
proteins, I had to get the staple. The one thing I buy every single time I go, and that is eggs. These are the brown eggs, but really, brown eggs versus white eggs, not really much of a difference. I used to, when I lived in South Florida, be able to buy farm fresh eggs, and I liked being able to support uh, local farmers in my area. That would be the best thing to do, yet I can't do that here, or I haven't found it yet. The one thing I really didn't need, but it looked so delicious, was all of this salmon. I haven't made salmon in such a long time, but I love how this is just perfectly packaged, where sometimes when you buy like chicken or meats or fish, they're all stuck together, so you have to defrost them all at once. These, I can defrost one at a time, which is a pretty sick. Hate wasting food because that is just money I just kind of lit on fire and threw away. Life is too expensive to just buy fresh foods to throw them out. I did buy boneless, skinless chicken breasts. They were a pretty good price. I'm just gonna put them in the freezer. I didn't know Sprouts had cold cuts, and if you know me, you know my favorite food of all time is a sandwich. Call me Joey Trubiani. Chicken breasts, no nitrates. I got hot pepper jack cheese because you can't have a sandwich without cheese. All of a sudden, started craving chicken fingers. So what did I do? I bought chicken breast tenders from Applegate. These are just perfect. I have the air fryer. I can just put them in the air fryer when I really don't want to cook. Slice up a sweet potato. We got this, a sweet potato. The saturated fat, one gram. The protein, 13 grams. There is less than one gram of added sugar. As far as cholesterol, 13% of the daily value. And sodium, 15% of the daily value. I'm really just trying to make sure every sodium, saturated fat, and added sugar is below 15%. The moment you've all been waiting for. The produce, the fruits, the vegetables, the thing that takes up 70% of my diet. I don't really know. I just put that, pulled that number out of my pocket. I got crazy corn. I also got cauliflower. I have been seeing so many people put cauliflower in a smoothie. Does it actually taste good? Can you taste the cauliflower? I am going to find out. Frozen veggies, dump them in your air fryer, crisp them up, put some, pepper, salt, maybe even some Parmesan. You're dairy-free, don't put Parmesan, put some garlic salt on it. Yum! As far as fruit, I got sugar bee apples. They were on sale. I don't think I've ever had a sugar bee apple. Let's give it a shot. I have been craving a pear blue cheese walnut salad. So I got some pears, and I got some arugula, and I have some blue cheese and goat cheese in my refrigerator already. And I got two grapefruits. Only two because I was craving a grapefruit, but I haven't had a grapefruit for years. So I wasn't sure if I actually still liked grapefruit, but adding some grapefruit to maybe like a salad would be cool or a grapefruit with my Greek yogurt to have like a fruit Greek yogurt bowl. I got the boring cooking stuff. We got some sweet onions. We got three heads of garlic because I like to cook. I really don't like to cook. I got two bananas. Only two because the bananas really didn't look good. I got three avocados, which please don't tell any of the Floridians. I live in Florida and you're really not supposed to buy avocados. You're supposed to just get avocados from friends and neighbors who have avocado trees and save your money. But here's the deal. I don't have friends with an avocado tree, so I buy them from the store. And I got bell peppers. Whenever produce is on sale, I try to buy all the produce that's on sale because usually that means it's at the peak of the season when it's on sale, which means it has the most nutrients in them. I also got little tomatoes to put on egg omelets, sandwiches, as well as salads. The two greens I always get, kale, arugula. I also got green onions, another boring vegetable, but I have some rotisserie chicken in my refrigerator that I need to use. So I'll make like a chicken salad, put some of this in it, Greek yogurt, mustard, mix it up, salt, pepper, garlic. You got yourself chicken salad. Here's a weird thing I got that was on sale, a pineapple. This is a butternut squash. It has like the texture of butter, slightly sweet. You can put it and roast it in the oven. Oh my gosh, so delightful. And then I got sweet potatoes. I have been on a kick with just cutting up sweet potatoes as little fries and putting them in the air fryer at 370 for 14 minutes. Salt, pepper, garlic. And that is it, y'all. That is everything I bought from the grocery store. If I could give you three tips for your next grocery store run, it would be this. First, buy some fruits and veggies in the frozen section or the frozen aisle so that your fruits and veggies can last a little bit longer. 
Two, incorporate a new grain that you haven't tried before. Go down the grain aisle, see if there's something fun that catches your eye and maybe it's on sale. I love barley and farro. If you haven't tried those, highly recommend them. Buy the quick cooking ones because they can take quite a long time to cook. My third tip is getting outside your comfort zone and buying a fruit and or vegetable you haven't tried yet. A lot of people tell me that they don't like fruits and vegetables. So don't buy the ones you know you don't enjoy. Buy ones you haven't tried yet, buy ones that you kind of like. Go on the interweb, go on TikTok, go on Instagram and see how people cook with it. Try it out, see what you think. Let me know down below what foods you're buying at the grocery store. What is your favorite food? What is your must have item that you always buy at the grocery store? Until next time, drink your water, eat your fruits and vegetables, be kind to yourself and those around you. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.